Clearwater's new Scientology strategy. No more cloak and dagger dealings. Tampa Bay Times, St. Petersburg, Florida. Clearwater leaders are no longer hiding their impatience as blocks of downtown properties tied to TH. E. Church of Scientology remain empty, despite years of closed door talks. With a majority of new members, the city council began discussing government priorities with city ad. Ministrators at a retreat Tuesday and aired plans for awakening downtown with or without Scientology's help. I feel like below are your comments. I live one mile north of the Scientology flagship building. They don't care about whatever politicians are in office. The way they look at it, those politicians will be gone in two to three years like the rest of them have been gone in in that time frame. Scientology is just playing the long game. Okay let's start off with an English class. Wrong term here, cult, not church. Once that is realized and accepted the cult will fall apart. Look at all the taxes they get by without paying, special privileges etc. It's the biggest smoker of all time. My mom's aunt and uncle used to run an eight-unit motel on Clearwater Beach, back in the 1960s to 1970s. Her cousin also lived here and was in real estate. One year we came down on vacation in 1976, and asked what were all the people dressed like sailors uh, about. He said, they belong to something ca. If those buildings remain unused, then the city should use eminent domain and take them over at fair market value. There better not be a dime of taxpayer money involved. Downtown Clearwater has so much potential. But as long as the creeps are there, none of it will ever be unlocked. Such a waste. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.